All right, so I've recently been diving into Web3, but there's one thing that was really nagging on my brain. So I wrote an article on it. This is the video version of that. Basically, it seems like the biggest misconception people have in Web3 is that they seem to be under this delusion that blockchains will store all of the world's data in Web3. The problem is blockchains are way too damn expensive. Even with layer two scaling solutions, nobody wants to pay gas fees to send a like post a tweet or send a message when they can already do it for free on web two. So what's the solution? Where is this other data outside of blockchains gonna be stored in a web three world where users still own their data? Decentralized databases. Blockchains will probably only store one to 2% of all the data, the most secure data, financial assets, NFTs, everything else, it's gonna be stored on decentralized databases. If it's not, then it's not really, it's maybe halfway to Web3, maybe Web 2.5. Etherscan just released a chat application where you can message Ethereum addresses. But all the data is stored on centralized servers. How can you call that Web3 if the only Web3 element is being able to authenticate via an Ethereum address? I wanted to build a decentralized social network. We think more like Reddit or Twitter. Problem was, like when I investigated the technology, it's so immature that I would have to build a decentralized database first before actually building that. Okay, look, not to knock on the hard, valuable work being done because there are some solutions you could potentially build off of. It's just, they're not production ready yet. The documentation is extremely immature. There are very few examples that you can use to work off of or learn how to build things, but I will talk about them briefly in this video. My point of this video isn't to complain and feel entitled, like why doesn't somebody build this solution for me? That's not my point. My point is we need more attention brought, not just the blockchains, but to the other decentralized databases that will actually store the majority of data in Web 3.0 world. I've seen so many people talk about how amazing Web 3 will be, how users can own their data, all the implications. That's great. I'm glad this stuff is getting attention finally because it's so important. But the technology is not there outside of blockchains. First, we need to build the building blocks like the decentralized databases that enable people to build these applications. And a real test is having a decentralized Reddit. If there is a decentralized Reddit that's in a public GitHub repo and it's using true decentralized technology, then that would unlock such enormous innovation because I don't think people fully grasp the implications of decentralization. If users actually own the data, that means you can create your own front end for it. It means you can plug and play data from various apps into their own front ends. And like, just to get a preview of that, load up self.id, fill out your profile information, then go to dns.xyz, which is also powered by Ceramic, and you'll see your profile information automatically populated there. This is just a very trivial example, but hopefully at least it gives you a preview. So I briefly investigated the solutions. The best I saw was Ceramic, which basically enables having a global ID. So the user can authenticate with their Ethereum address, have a global ID, and then you can have custom data models attached to that global ID. This seems like a really promising project, but it is not production ready yet. It's still very immature. The documentation is honestly terrible right now, but they are revamping it. But it's just so much of it is outdated that honestly, it's really frustrating actually, but they are revamping it. And then I struggled to find a single GitHub repo that just showed how to use a custom model. I don't know about you, but I prefer looking at the actual code and then reverse engineering that, learning from that, than reading through like tutorials and documentation. Like write this line and then this line and then this line. It's just not time efficient. But I did post in the Discord and then right before I wrote this article, respond saying that oh you can actually use this repo so I linked that in the article so if anybody wants to build on top of ceramic I would definitely use that as a starting point and I, I will too definitely worth looking into but I need some work orbit DB is a decentralized database built off of IPFS it looks promising the problem is that write access cannot be removed currently with IPFS and all that you have the performance issues and, and performance is the biggest Achilles heel right now of decentralized database technology. There's a lot of work that will need to be done to solve performance, but the way I see it, first we need to actually get live decentralized versions of like Reddit and Discord and Twitter, which is where all the crypto Web3 talk happens, which are completely centralized platforms, which is so ironic. We need decentralized versions of these platforms. At first the performance will be garbage, but if it works, then there will be people on it. And the beauty of Web3 is that it's all open source. Anybody can be a developer. Anybody can improve Twitter, build on top of Twitter, build a better version. It's something that's not possible in Web 2.0. Like if you have a problem with Twitter or Facebook or YouTube's algorithm, there's nothing you can do about it. In Web3, you can change the algorithm. You can create an alternative utilizing the same data. You can fork it. You can do whatever you want. 
This is going to be the stage of Web3 migration. First, you're going to have people migrating to the projects where there is a clear financial benefit. Think of like a Kickstarter or a Patreon with lower fees. The next step will be having actual decentralized versions of Twitter, Discord, that kind of thing. And again, the performance initially will be terrible, but you'll have like the certain people escaping censorship, the early adopters who are just curious, and the platforms will exist. There will be users. They just won't be happy with the performance. But again, in Web3, you can fix the performance because anybody can build. Naturally, there will be developers motivated to improve the performance. And crypto, Web3, and DAOs enable alternative means of funding this development, further accelerating this development. And then as the performance gets better, you're going to attract more users, which will attract more users and builders, which will be this beautiful feedback loop. And then eventually Web3 will take over. So that's how I see it playing out. But right now we are not even in the first inning because we don't even have the building blocks available in a mature state to actually build these applications that anybody would want to use other than in decentralized finance and crappy animal farm NFT games. But look, we're just at the early stages. Once we build these building blocks, once these Web3 pioneers, like the people building ceramic and whatever else, once they get this stuff in a mature state and people build on top of it, like the guy who built Orbis.club, this decentralized Twitter off of ceramic. I don't know much about the project, so I don't know how truly decentralized it is, but props, it looks amazing. I hope it succeeds. Once people actually build these Web3 products that other people can actually use, then there's no going back. That's how I see it. Maybe I drank too much of the Web3 Kool-Aid, but, or maybe I'm just being overly idealistic, but I really do think that this is gonna be a fundamental paradigm shift. But I do think there are a lot more people prophesizing and talking about Web3 than actually building the reality. And I think too much attention is focused on blockchains, not enough attention to decentralized databases. Again, blockchains will only ever store the most secure, financial, expensive data that people are willing to pay money for its security. The rest of the data, immutable data, will be stored on decentralized file stores like IPFS, but mutable data that's not important enough to store on an expensive blockchain will be stored on decentralized databases. More people need to be talking about decentralized databases, and this technology needs to be built to a mature level so that people can finally build decentralized versions of websites like Twitter, Reddit, Discord, these kind of applications. And only then will we have truly decentralized applications rather than block scan where you authenticate via an Ethereum address and all the data is stored on centralized servers, which isn't truly Web3. That's all I wanted to say. Let me know what you think. Am I missing anything? Maybe there's some amazing decentralized database technology that I missed out on. I don't know. Like, I mean, if anything, I wanted to just start the conversation, even if for my own selfish needs, so that I can go out there and actually build decentralized Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, even like all that other stuff and then not be slaves to YouTube's algorithm, whatever brought you here, I don't know. Anyways, that's it for this video. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Did he cut out? Hang outside, I hang outside.